Hey everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be teaching this weaved effect. Now, to get this sort of effect right here, you're going to need a couple of things. You need a picture of a model, which I'll give you in the source files, uh, which you can download from my website, and the link is going to be in the description bar. Now, you might have one of yourself that you need to cut out. Um, so, let's just jump in right into the tutorial. So, we're going to go up to File, and we're going to go on to New and you need to make a new page with the width of 1280 pixels and the height 1024 pixels and the resolution is going to be 72 now once you've done that click OK and then we're going to go over to the gradient tool so just under the paint bucket hold down click and press gradient we're going to go up to the top now you can change whatever colors that you want here I'm just going to go for dark brown to a light um, beige sort of thing and then click OK and then we're just going to drag from the bottom upwards and again like that and we're going to go make a new blank layer you can do this by clicking on the new blank layer icon on the bottom right hand side like that and we're going to go to the paint bucket tool so go to the gradient and click and press paint bucket tool make sure you've got the foreground color to black and we're going to put that black and then we're going to go to filter we're going to go over to noise and add noise now the settings that you're going to be needing needing here sorry is monochromatic checked on and uniform and we want the amount to be 50 percent and then click ok and then we're going to go over and change the blending mode so we're going to go over to linear dodge right there and we're going to bring down the fill to around 40 percent so around there now once you have done that uh, we're going to be needing a model so i've already cut out my model here now you can find models on uh, websites and all stif stuff like that really but if you want this as I said you can download it from my website um, now I'm just going to go and drag him and now if you have an image that you want to cut out there is basically um, some steps that you can take to cut people out uh, using the quick selection tool like I used here or you can use the pen tool now there's a loads of different ways that you can use uh, to cut uh, people out but that's for a different tutorial and you can refer back to my other tutorial if you need to know that now we're just going to go and use the move tool which is at the top and we're going to drag him and put him in our image now he's pretty small at the moment so we're going to press ctrl and t on our keyboard and we're going to just bring him up so about there a bit and then click the tick icon at the top now as I said it was basically really really quick on how I cut him out as you see um, he is a bit uh, bad around the edges but you're not really going to see that once we start work on him. So we're going to make a new blank layer just underneath uh, him. So we're going to go to the black layer down below and we're going to press the new blank layer icon on the bottom right hand side and we're going to go over and make sure that we've got black selected as our foreground colour going to go to the paintbrush tool and we're going to hit the size to 1 pixels and the hardness can be 100% and the opacity can be 100% and the flow can be 100% now from here we're just going to go and do loads of lines now if you can't see, obviously you can't see behind it, we're just going to drag this layer up to the top so we can see what we're actually doing and all you have to do is keep making squiggly lines all around him that's all you need to do really and this can take some time now once you have done um, all your squiggly lines that you need to do we're just going to I'm just going to quickly do some more just to show you what it looks like in the end oh, sorry to say about there we're going to drag that top layer down one so it's behind him again and we're going to hold down alt on our keyboard and you'll see a little line just before the two layers so just in between 
and then we're just going to click and he's disappeared now you want to go back to your paintbrush tool back to the same layer on, that you was painting on and then just keep painting now if you don't uh, want to go outside the boundaries of him you can hold down the control key and click on his layer and it'll make a selection around him and then all you have to do is just just keep basically making squiggles really and now once you've done that you'll get something like the original image I showed you before so if I jump over to that image again and that's basically the image you're going to be getting right here now if you don't want uh, these bits that's gone outside the boundary you can hit the eraser tool and you can just go around taking those bits out like there or there so one, now that's done that's basically the whole image created now you can make loads more effects to go on this you can add more people um, you can add some shadows and stuff like that uh, but this is a tutorial just to basically show you how to do this sort of thing and I'm going to let your creativity um, flow and you can add from this so don't forget to download the source files if you need them and that's about it for this tutorial and I'll see you next time guys bye for now